Hey, it's Mr. Aiden. This is 8th grade science. We're going to be doing a photosynthesis summary today. So let's get to this summary. What do we know about photosynthesis? We know that photosynthesis is the ability for plants to take in light energy. And what is that light energy going to do? That light energy is going into breaking bonds. And what two things does it need to break the bonds of? Well, six moles of water and six moles of carbon dioxide. It's going to break those bonds and it's going to make sugars, which is C6H12O6, simple sugars, and six moles of oxygen gas. And so that is the overall chemical reaction of photosynthesis and we're going to go to our uh, our diagrams for photosynthesis now remember this is an overall diagram we have stage one we have stage two for our diagrams and what do we know is happening in stage one well all of this is happening in the chloroplast isn't it and so all of this is happening in the chloroplast and stage one is happening specifically in the thylakoids, in these, these rings right here. And what's coming in, what are the reactants of stage one? Well, there is water coming in, and there's light coming in to break the bonds of the water. Okay, and so just take a look, H2O, what's going to be coming out of that is oxygen gas. What's also going to be coming out of that is we have some NADPH, and we have some ATP, high energy electrons coming into stage two. So stage two is, I have this cycle going on. What do we call that? We call that the Calvin cycle. That's all happening in the stroma. And what's the reactant for stage two is carbon dioxide. And now I begin to have some carbon in there, which means what is the product is C6H12O6. And what gets kicked back is, of course, ADP and NADP plus back to stage one to carry the high energy electrons. Remember, that is the overall of photosynthesis. Now let's take a look at the diagram. Again, a good review of just stage one. So remember, what's happening in just stage one, we have water coming in and we have the water getting its broken its bonds from the light okay and so water's bonds are getting broken from the light and what happens when water gets its bonds broken well it breaks up into oxygen gas and it breaks up into H plus okay protons what else happens is it has some high energy electrons which goes on what's called the electron transport chain that electron transport chain. All of this uh, beginning things happen in what's called photosystems two. Those electrons get hit into the electron transport chain, doesn't it? Okay. Well, what do we have coming across this chain is we have our H plus diffusing over onto this other side. And so we have a bunch of protons, a bunch of H plus diffusing over this other side. And now at the end of the electron transport chain, we have more light coming in to energize these electrons. And you can see as it energizes the electrons, it also brings this through a catalyst, an enzyme called ATP synthase. And what happens in ATP synthase? Well, we have our H plus and our NADP plus adding a, a uh, becoming NADPH. And we have ADP and another phosphorus becoming ATP. And that all happens in photosystems one. And that ATP and that NADPH and the high energy electrons all go into stage two. So this is the specific look at stage one. And then stage two, we have what's called the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle, well, what's coming into the Calvin cycle is carbon dioxide, but what's already in, to, in my cycle is a five carbon molecule. So you can see one carbon and five carbons become 
six carbons. And well, what do you know? We have ATP and we have NADPH. And what does all of that energy end up doing? It breaks this bond from six carbons into two threes. Okay, two threes. And what does the ATP become? Goes back to stage one is ADP. What does the NADPH become? Going back to stage one is the NADP plus. And now we have two three carbon molecules. Well, we have some of those three carbon molecules continue on. Some of them become glucose, glucose. And well, what do you know? We have 10 molecules of the three carbons still in my cycle. And what do you know? We have some ATP, which breaks those bonds and becomes the five carbons again and the ADP goes back to stage one. And so this was the overview of what's called the Calvin cycle. So we have the overall look at the summary of my photosynthesis. We have a more in-depth look at, photo, at uh, stage one, which is called the electron transport chain. And we have a even more in-depth look at what's called the Calvin cycle or stage two. And that is our summary of photosynthesis. We're going to have a good practice at this tomorrow and a test at the end of the week. Make sure you know these three diagrams. See you guys. Bye.